The LOI also held strike ballots among school support staff. In England, although 8 out of 10 members were in favour of strikes, turnout fell short of the required threshold at 46.46%. In Wales, however, support staff will strike after the noise secured a turnout of more than 51%, with 88% of those voting in favour. As the biggest education union in the country, industrial action by NOI members is likely to cause widespread disruption. Depending on the number of NOI members in a school, many will be forced to close because of safety requirements while those with fewer members will be able to remain open, though not to all pupils. Announcing the result of the ballot, Dr. Mary Bousted and Kevin Courtney, the Joint General Secretaries of the NOI, said, this is not about a pay rise but correcting historic real terms pay cuts. Teachers have lost 23% in real terms since 2010, and support staff 27% over the same period. The average 5% pay rise for teachers this year is some 7% behind inflation. In the midst of a cost of living crisis, that is an unsustainable situation. We regret having to take strike action, and are willing to enter into negotiations at any time, any place, but this situation cannot go on. Unions are due to meet the Education Secretary later this week but there is little optimism of a breakthrough. In updated guidance, the Department for Education said head teachers would be expected to take all reasonable steps to keep schools open for as many pupils as possible, prioritizing vulnerable pupils, children of critical care workers and those due to sit public examinations. Schools should also consider, where possible, providing remote education if attendance is restricted. Joe Coton, the chief executive officer of Net Academies Trust, a group of six primary schools in Essex, said her team would do everything possible to keep schools open. We are determined that it will be business as usual across our six schools. All our team worked extremely hard to keep vulnerable and key worker children in school during the pandemic and this is no different.